Xin chào, welcome to Moving Mango. I'm Henna, a certified Pilates teacher, and today I want to share with you another total body Pilates workout to help you strengthen your whole body and sculpt your arms, your hips, and your legs. So if you're ready, just roll your mat and let's do it together. Alright, now let's start by some warm up movement. So, I want you to come to own pole position. Open your arms, shoulders apart, and your legs see with apart. Now, imagining you have two eyes on the elbows, just rotate the eyes towards each other. Put your shoulders far away from your ears and make sure your shoulders are on top of your wrist here. Now, inhale and slowly dip your shoulders down between your arms and lift up. So, a couple more times, get your own breath. Inhale and exhale, come back. Keep breathing here for five, four, lengthen your neck, look down to the mat and slightly pull the belly button towards the spine and last one, now articulate your spine, put your shoulders far away from your ears and look towards the front and then chin to chest, rise your spine, each vertebra at a time and come back slowly, try to press your shoulders down and look all the way towards the front if you feel comfortable with your neck, go all the way up to the ceiling and come back around your spine, chin your chest, upper spine a little bit higher if you can and slowly bring it back to the center three more times, take your own breath and exhale, you can close your eyes to feel how your body keep balance on the mat very good, and two more times here inhale, soften your elbows if you need to, if it's easier for your wrist and then come back around your spine and last one, articulate your spine, shoulders down, look towards the front and round your spine, chin your chest, belly button in and slowly bring your torso back to the center, very good now you need to allow yourself to just engage your core, move your torso towards the front and three more times here to stretch your wrist a little bit two, and don't hold your breath, keep breathing, inhale forward and exhale, come back now rotate your fingers towards the knees and move backward and back to the center, very good, keep breathing for two and last one, move backward and slowly bring it back to the center, very good now rotate your wrist a little bit and reverse to the other side and reverse and start to rotate your ankle and reverse and slowly bring your arms and legs down to the mat again now imagining you have a tail behind your hips just wag your tail into one side so your shoulders lead the movement and come back, lengthen your neck and back to the center just imagining like your head and your neck just go with the shoulders so only the shoulders is leading the movement here and your neck and your head not moving very good, keep breathing and two more times with your own breath go a little bit further if you can move your hips further away very good, belly button slightly in come back, last one and slowly bring your torso back to the center shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth alright, and when you're ready I wanted to allow yourself to just bring one arm towards the front and come back to the other side and back to the center so reach a little bit more and feel free to put your whole forearms down to the mat if it's easier for your wrist so listen to your body here lengthen your neck, keep looking down to the mat and two to the right to the left and last one, and slowly bring it back to the center come to own for position again now rotate your head, put your shoulders far away from your ears first and then rotate your head to one side hold it here for three, two and one to the other side hold it here for three, two and one, slowly rotate and look down to the mat now chin your chest, so we don't move your spine just lengthen your spine still and feel the back of your neck is stretching and then come look all the way towards the front or even further all the way to the ceiling if you can if you feel flexible and, and good enough with your neck 
very good and slowly bring your head back to the center now start to rotate your head slowly and come back reverse inhale halfway and exhale halfway this is gonna be a little bit weird then rotating your head when you're sitting on your sitting bones but it's still quite good too so I wanted to do it really slowly with your own breath and really feel your neck is stretching Very good, and slowly bring your head back to the center. Shake your hips, and inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. And let's move to the main workout here. Okay, so now I wanted to make a fist, eyes on elbows, rotate to face each other. If you feel like it more support with your wrist here, or you can put your forearms down. You activate your feet, tuck your feet, and lift your knees up and down. Lengthen your neck, pull the belly button in 10 times with your own breath. Nine, keep breathing. Eight, seven, bring it down slowly with control. Six, and five, four, inhale, look down to the mat, lengthen your neck, shoulders on top of your elbows. Two, and last one, lift and down, and then slowly lengthen your arms again. This time, I wanted to engage your core and keep your knees and your feet towards the center. Lengthen your legs towards the back. And I wanted to inhale, slowly bring your arm to the front, your leg to the back, and bring it down to the opposite side. Inhale. And exhale, pull the belly button in, and try to stabilize your torso here. Come back to the other way. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. Keep breathing. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, bring it back to the other side. And back to the center. And a couple more times with your own breath. Pull the belly button in. Try to reach a little bit further. Let someone pulling your hand away from your shoulder. And your leg away from your hips. So keep breathing. Come back. Stabilize your hips. Belly button. Pull it toward the spine. And lengthen. And come back. Make sure your shoulders on top of your wrist here. Very good. Bring it down slowly with control. Inhale. And exhale. And a couple more times. I wanted to make sure that you can hear your breath. Inhale, lengthen. And then come back, your breath. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. And last one to the left. Last one to the right. And slowly bring your hands back to the center. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Tuck your feet. And now I wanted to allow yourself to lift your hips all the way up. So pull the belly button in here. And I wanted to start to bend your knees. Step a little bit like we're walking. So five, four. Put your shoulders down far away from your ears. So towards the hips. Very good. And last one. And now I wanted to inhale slowly. Open your legs, hip width apart. Now walk your hands. Soften your knees if you need to all the time. Otherwise, just lengthen it, but I don't want you to lock your knees, so just soften. Very good. Keep breathing and heels up and down. You can move your hands further away if it's easier for you. So just listen to your body here for three, two, and last one. Walk your hand back towards the middle of the mat. So when we're going to go to the reverse V again. All right. Now I wanted to inhale and slowly bend your knees. Sit all the way down to the mat. Open your knees wider if you want to, if it's easier for you to go lower. And then come back for five more times with your own breath. Pull the belly button in four. Very good. Come back, lengthen and bend. Three. Bring it up and down slowly with control. Two. And last one. And slowly lengthen. And walk your hands all the way towards the front to come to full plank here. So you can always put your forearms down to the mat if it's easier for your wrist. Tuck your feet, open your legs with the part, pull the belly button in. And now you're going to lift your hips as high as you can and shift your weight to the front again. So I'm going to try to do it for 10 more times here with your own breath. Nine. Keep breathing. Eight. Seven. Belly button in, six, 
and five, four, keep breathing, three, bring your hips a little bit lower, and two, look down towards the middle of your fingers when you shift forward, last one, and slowly bend your knees down, come to try pose, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright, and when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to put your forearms towards the front again. And lengthen your legs, come to forearm plank here. Open your legs a bit apart. And I want you to engage your core, bend your knees and lengthen. So try to bring your hips a little bit lower. So you're going to create like a straight line on your body here. So knee bend and lengthen for 10. Belly button in. 9. Keep breathing. 8. 7. Sit and down, and five more times with your own breath. Four, belly button in, and two more times with your own breath. Now last one, inhale, and knee bends come to try pose. Inhale deeply to your nose, stretch your hips a little bit, and exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, and when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to lie all the way down on your belly. And now bring your hands over your head. Put your shoulders down, far away from your ears. Now inhale, lift your arms and legs up, opposite leg up and down to the other side. Bring it down. So don't have to go so high, but I want you to go as high as you can and really pull the belly button in as long as you feel comfortable with your back. So keep breathing and listen to your body. Lower your torso if it's easier for your back. And keep breathing for five more times each side. Four, belly button in. Three, deep breathing. Two, activate your feet. And last one, and slowly bring your torso back. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose. Interlace your finger towards the front of the mat. Put your shoulders far away from your ears. Pull the belly button in, inhale. And exhale, bend your knee, tap, tap, come back, you're going to feel your quad is stretching. And squeeze your booty muscles to work that booty muscles. Very good, stabilize your torso. Pull the belly button towards the spine. Very good, keep breathing. Inhale, and exhale, tap, tap, come back for three. To the right, two, bring it down slowly with control. Feel like holy, your legs are moving, and last one and slowly bring it back to the center. Shake your hips, rotate your ankles, and reverse. Now tuck your feet, lengthen your legs, lift your knees off the mat here. And I want you to inhale, bring your hands over your head, shoulders far away from your ears, look down to the mat. Now engage your core and lift your leg just above the mat. So don't have to go so high, just listen to your lower back here. Now I want you to inhale, open your leg to the side, and then come back, don't have to go so high because we want to work the legs the side of your hips and your core here and your back as well your lower back so keep breathing shoulders far away from your ears open squeeze your body come back inhale squeezing the thighs bring it back for six five four belly button in three open as wide as you can Try to keep it in control. And last one. And slowly bring your legs down. Relax your feet. Inhale deeply to your nose. Stretch your hips a little bit. Exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to bring your hands, go under your forehead. Put your shoulders far away from your ears and lift your legs up. Now start to make a little pump like we're walking or we're running in the air here for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, stabilize your hips. Five, four, squeeze your booty. Two, and one, slowly bring your legs down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose. Rotate your ankles and then reverse. All right, now I want to allow yourself to bring your arms to the side. And now slowly inhale, lift your legs up and open your legs. Bring your hands towards the front and come back. So make sure your shoulders far away from your ears. Lift the chest even higher if you can. Just listen to your lower back here. Pull the belly button in for 10, 9. You can soften your elbows if you need. 7, 6, 
five, activate your feet, four, squeeze your thigh, make a precise movement here. And last one, up and down, and slowly bring your torso back, shake your hips, rotate your ankles, and reverse, all right? Now lean on one side to do psychic series. So hands support your head, the other hand in front of your chest. Put your shoulders far away from your ears and really pull the belly button in, legs towards the front. So make sure that your hips not lean forward, not backward, just hips on hips here. Lift your leg up as high as you can and slowly bring it to the front. Press your lower leg down to the mat and move it back parallel to the floor. Very good. So 10 times here. Make sure you stabilize your hips. Only your leg is moving. You can soften your bottom knee if it's easier for your balance. So just listen to your body here. Inhale up and exhale down. And seven. Inhale halfway and exhale halfway. Six. Keep breathing. Lengthen your leg if you want more challenge with your hips and your core. Very good. Five. Squeeze your inner thighs, activate your feet. Four, belly button in. Very good, guys. And three, inhale. I want you to hear your breath. Two, so that's where you have more awareness to the breath and use the breath to control the movement. And last one, and slowly bring your legs down, shake your hips. Now, bend your top leg and lengthen your bottom knee, don't see flex with your feet, lift your bottom leg up and down 10 times, look at your own breath, so 10, 9, keep breathing, 8, 7, 6, stabilize your torso, 5, rest your head on your arm if it's easier for your wrist, 3, very good, keep breathing, 2, and last one, and slowly bring it back, now, I wanted to lengthen both legs towards the front again and dorsiflex flex with your feet. Inhale, lift your leg, your top leg just above the mat and lift your bottom leg just above the mat, the top leg just above the hips. All right, so you can plant a flex with your feet as well or you can just keep dorsiflex flex here. Start to walk your leg to the opposite way and come back slowly with control. So make sure you stabilize your hips here 10 times. If you feel that it's easier for your balance by putting your head down, feel free to do that. It engage your core as much as possible. Press both hands down to the mat, your whole arms down to the mat in this case. Or just press one hand and really pull the belly button in to stabilize your hips. Very good. Slowly with your own breath and six. <sighs> Five, always keep your legs parallel to the ground and activate your feet. Four, beautiful guys. Three, feel those legs and hips and core is, are working. Two, and burning. And last one, inhale and forward and slowly bring your leg back to the center, bring your legs down, shake your hips, you know, feel your up leg, just have a little burn here as well. All right, now I'm going to allow yourself to bend your bottom knee 90 degrees, your top leg, just leave just about the hips here again, inhale, bend your knee, and exhale, try to push it as far as you can, and come back, let someone pull in your leg away from your hips, so 10, very good guys, 9, Keep breathing. It try to bring your knees towards the chest as much as you can. Seven. Six. Press your bottom leg down. Five. Belly button in. Hide your rib cage. So it's like a perfect engaging core. Three. Very good. Two. And last one. Bend and lengthen and slowly bring your legs down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. <sighs> All right, rotate your ankles and then reverse. And the last movement before we move to the next, the other side here. So lift your leg just above the mat, the hips and bring your leg towards the front and come back 10 times here. So press your bottom leg down to the mat, 10, Keep breathing, and nine, belly button in, very good. Eight, inhale, and exhale. Seven, 
go as far as you can. Stabilize your torso. And five, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come back. Four, belly button all the way in. Three, feel your legs are burning like crazy. Two, and last one. Move forward and backward and slowly bring your legs down. Show your hips, rotate your ankles and then reverse. You can make a little bit massage on this side of the hips if you need to. Now let's move to the other side. Okay, so again, use your hand to support your head and bring both legs towards the front of the mat. And if you want to make it easier for balance, just bend your bottom knee here. Otherwise, just lengthen, lift your leg up about the hips here and I wanted to inhale lift as high as you can and slowly bring it towards the front and then come back so you can always bend your bottom knee again if it's easier for you engage your core 10 times and 9 inhale halfway exhale halfway 8 keep breathing very good 7 6 lift down and backward five lift down and backward again four keep breathing and three stabilize your torso press your shoulders down towards the hips two very good guys lengthen your bottom leg if you want more challenge and last one and slowly bring your legs down show your hips a little bit inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right, and now I wanted to allow yourself to lift your top leg about the hip, your bottom leg about the mat. So, plantar flex with your feet or dorsi flex with your feet as long as you activate your feet, move your legs to the opposite side. So, stabilize your torso here, your forearm, stick to your rib cage to help more with the balance. Engage your core belly button in, very good. And nine more times, yeah. Keep breathing. It. Imagining like we are in the space and we just move the legs. Seven, very good. And five, inhale and exhale. Four, belly button in. Go a little bit further. Three, inhale and exhale. And two more times with your own breath. And last one and come back and slowly bring your legs back to the center and down to the mat. Shake your hips a little bit, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and now I wanted to allow yourself to bend your bottom knee here, lengthen your top leg just above the hips and bend your top knee all the way towards the chest as close as you can and lengthen away for 10. Keep breathing, nine, belly button in, Eight, make a precise movement. Seven, bend and then reach all the way towards the front. Five, activate your feet, press your bottom leg down to the mat. Four, very good guys. Three, beautiful two. And last one. And slowly bring your Top leg bending and lengthen your bottom leg. Dorsi flex with your feet. Lift it up and down. Ten. Keep breathing. Nine. Eight. Very good, guys. Seven. Six. Five. Go up a little bit higher if you can. Feel your inner thighs is working. And two. And last one. Up and down. Very good. And now I wanted to allow yourself to lengthen both legs. Lift your top leg just above the mat and then bring your top leg towards the front and then come back to your top leg above the hips. Very good. Inhale and exhale. You can always bend your bottom knee if it's easier for the, your balance. So just listen to your body here. Very good. Inhale. Move forward and exhale. Come back eight more times here with your own breath seven try to bring it as low as you can six really feel the side of your hip stretching and five very good four belly button in inhale and exhale and three more times look at your own breath very good guys two and 
last one and slowly bring your legs back to the center bend your knees make a little massage here rotate your ankles and then reverse inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back so this time i wanted to engage your core lift your head off the mat now lift your legs up to 90 degrees here arms along your body lengthen your legs if you want to make it so much more challenge start to make a little pulse here inhale two three four five exhale two three four five press your lower back down to the mat use your hand to support your head if it's easier your neck so just listen to your body now bend your knees if you want to make it easier and focus on the breath here so inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale and exhale and five more times here four chest high go to protect your neck three two lower your legs for more challenging don't add your back press your lower back down to the mat and last one and slowly bring your torso down hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose that feels so good exhale deeply to your mouth all right bend your knees down arms along your body and tuck your tailbone forward so i wanted to inhale lift your hips as high as you can with the breathing here and slowly bring it down each vertebra at a time 10 times with your own breath inhale and exhale make sure you keep your legs parallel to each other squeezing your thighs each vertebra at a time go up and down beautiful guys and keep your chin to the chest squeeze your booty muscles inhale all the way up and exhale down very good keep breathing and five go as far as you can but listen to your lower back we don't want to go so far just really feel your booty muscles working here but then also listen to your lower back and the range of the movement that your body can do here very good three slowly come back and two inhale all the way up and exhale down and last one lift and slowly bring your hips down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now i wanted to allow yourself to lift your head up use your hand to support your head open your elbows wider here press your feet down and i wanted to pull the belly button in lift the chest even higher open your elbows wider now bring one knee towards the chest and lift your torso up come back to the other side and back to the center you can always make it more challenging by lift both knees up to 90 degrees and move to the opposite side belly button in engage your core as much as possible now make sure that you use your chest to move and lift your torso up not your neck or your head because it's gonna help to protect your neck here by just using the chest to lead the movement and that's gonna be the one we use to pull your torso up squeeze in the thighs and five to the right four to the other side and three more times here to the opposite side two <sighs> exhale every time you lift up and last one and slowly to the other side and bring it back to the center shake your hips a little bit inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and when you're ready i want you to keep your arms along your body again lift your legs up to 90 degrees dorsi flex with your feet now inhale lengthen both legs towards the front and then come back to make it easier each leg at a time and lower your legs to feel your belly burning and work more here very good keep breathing so both legs at a time again we're going to try to do it for five more times here with your own breath keep breathing four always keep your feet activated three keep your back in neutral press your hip bones down to the mat two press your shoulder blades down to the mat and last one and slowly plant up flex with your feet open your legs to the side come back for ten nine eight seven six five 
for belly button in, stabilize your torso, squeeze your inner thighs to bring your legs back to the center. Last one. And now I want you to allow yourself to keep your feet down, sit flex again. Bring your hands just above the mat and 90 degrees at your elbows. Now inhale and lengthen both legs towards the front, your arms over your head, and then come back 10 times here. So 10, belly button in to make it easier, each leg at a time, nine, eight, slowly with your own breath, seven, keep breathing, six, and five, engage your core, four, very good. Three, two, and last one. Lengthen, come back, and slowly hug your knees to your chest. Straight your heels, and you deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Rotate your wrist, and then revert. The last challenge for today, I wanted to inhale, lift your head up. Use your hand to support your head. Open your elbows wider, one knee to stress, and lengthen your leg. And we do crisscross. So reach, higher, come back. For 10, belly button in, 9, to the opposite side, 8, very good guys, 7, you can do this, 6, and 5, keep breathing, 4, beautiful, 3, try to reach your leg further, 2, you can do this, stabilize your hips, last one, and slowly bring your torso down, hug your knees to your chest, Shake your heels and inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I wanted to move to the stretching part here. So arms along your body, bend one knee down, lengthen one leg up, down, see flex with your feet. And you're gonna feel your hamstring is stretching and the back of your leg is stretching here. Start to make your leg towards the front, a little pulse. So 10, nine, eight, seven. Try to lengthen your leg as much as you can. Five, four, three, two, one, and now slowly bring your leg all the way down just about the mat and plant up flex with your feet. Reach a little bit further like someone pulling your leg away from your hips here. Press your sitting bones down for more support. Just try to reach your leg as far as you can and dorsiflex flex and reach as far as you can and dorsiflex. flex and three more times and come back two Go a little bit further if you can. And last one, as someone pulling it away and slowly bring it back to the center, to the opposite side. So lengthen your leg, feel the back of your leg is stretching and dorsi flex. And start to make a little pulse here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And slowly bring your leg down just about the mat. Try to pull away, plant up flex, let someone pull your leg away from your hip and then Darcy flex. Very good. Try to bring your toes towards the chest as much as you can and come back. Try to reach as far as you can again and Darcy flex three more times with your own breath. Inhale and exhale. And two. Feel your hips are stretching as well. And last one, lengthen, reach, and come back. And slowly bring your legs down. Keep your feet together, open your knees as wide as you can. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then lift your hips up to 90 degrees here. Open your hips wider. Bring your heels towards the hips as close as you can. If you can use your hands to hug your ankles to pull it towards the hips, feel free to do that. And then try to open your knees wider here. Just hold it here for three, two, and one. And slowly come back, hug your knees to your chest. Start to bring your hips from left to right. For three, to the other side, two, and last one and slowly bring it back to the center and now lean on one side slowly sitting up all right now i wanted to allow yourself to open your legs with the part as wide as you can dorsi flex with your feet walk your hands towards the front feel your hips are stretching hold it here for three if you feel like you feel like good with your hips just go as far as you can go all the way down to the mat to really stretch that hips and hold it here for three two 
and one slowly walk back. All right, and now bend your knees, open your legs wider than your hips a little bit. Now hands to the opposite thighs, rotate to the back and to the other side. Feel your oblique twisting and come back to the center one more time. Right. To the opposite side and slowly bring your torso back to the center. Keep your feet together, make a little pull, stay with your knees. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now sit tall with your back in neutral. Open your legs, bend in your knees, or cross your leg if you feel like doing it. Now lengthen your spine, shoulders far away from your ears, hands on your knees here. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. Reverse. Bring your head to one side. You can use your hand to pull your head further. You're going to really feel the side of your neck is stretching. It feels so good. You can close your eyes back to the center. Bring your head to the other side to feel the balance of your body on the mat. And come back to the center. Look down to the mat. Feel the back of your neck is stretching. So lengthen your spine and relax your head here. Try to just relax your head and just let your head drop as far as it can. And come up, look all the way to the ceiling, or just as far as you can, listen to your neck. And slowly bring your head back to the center. Start to rotate your head around your neck slowly. And reverse with your own breath. You know, halfway, exhale halfway. And one more time. Reverse. And slowly bring your head back to the center. Rotate your head to the right. Look down to your right shoulder. Look to the side again, to the opposite side. Look down to the left shoulder. And look up to the side again. And slowly bring your head back to the center. Shake your hips a little bit. Lengthen your spine. Inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Lengthen your spine. Chest open. Inhale. And exhale. Relax your shoulders here. Inhale deeply. Relax all the muscles on your face and form a smile. Exhale. One more time. And exhale. And slowly open your eyes when you're ready. And that's the world of today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions as usual, just let me know by commenting below. I'm gonna try to answer every Saturday on the Ask Moving Mango series. Otherwise, just if you have any workout requests, let me know as well. I'm gonna do Pilates on request every Friday. So have a good day, friends. Bye bye.